Welcome back to Pacific Drive. We need to build an antenna, and to do that we need access to the back rooms, which we can do by blowing this open. Numa tube. That's the in, that's the out. How the heck does this work? Stable, unstable, corrupt. Ooh. A, a handbrake? Wait, what? Can mine break? Can my handbrake break and I need to put in a new one? What the heck do I do with that? Crude panel, crude bumper. Don't need those. Some repair putty, food, bunch of scrap metal. Nice. Hand vac. Using most of the same basic principles as a domestic vacuum cleaner, though without any regard for safety constraints, this device allows for the swift collection of just about any solid or semi-solid substance. It will try to suck up anything small it's pointed towards. Oh, we needed this to collect the, like, sodium vapor lights something from them, I think. That just heads outside, but might as well open it. Oh, looks like it stopped raining. Vargas Autovac. Uh... That looked dangerous. What in the heck am I looking at? Oh my god. Oh, is this a... Is this a, like, research station? Are these tech trees? Yeah, these are tech trees. Yeah, alright. Well, let's do the scanning antenna. We have the transmitter. We have more plasma than we need. We have enough scrap metal. Enough energy. Let's do it. It's an installation kit. It's a brand new part of your garage just waiting to be installed. What's the holdup? Install it on the roof. How do- wait, how do I get to the roof? I didn't know I could. Is there a ladder? Oh, hey. So I guess we're going to be upgrading our base then, not just our car. What a beauty. Signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Brand new and it's already rusty. Car maintenance, install handbrake. Don't I already have it? Oh no, I have a parking brake, not a handbrake. Wait, aren't those the same thing? Are they? <laughs> I would Google it, but maybe it's more fun if it's a mystery. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space a tip because I would have taken everything that I could possibly fit if you didn't tell me that. Not being sarcastic, I literally would have. I mean, look at how full it is already. Thank you for the flares. I got a lot of flares today. Some electronics and a transfer trunk.
So it seems like the way it works is if you have it in your hand, then when you go to another thing, it will be there instead of your backpack. Oh, you can still switch your backpack if you want. But yeah, you can put stuff in the transfer trunk instead, like that. The car is almost ready to go, but I realized the thing that's been missing that I couldn't figure out is the back hatch. There's not any item that is specifically for that, so I'm guessing it's probably a door, because it is essentially a door. But I don't have the plastic to build another one right now, so let's just explore around a little bit. Like, what happens if I put something in the tube? Can't put items in? Wait, then what do you put in there? Let's try out the um, vacuum. Does it use up the durability just to suck? It does, but pretty slowly. So can I suck up items then? Oh, it can! It goes into my inventory! Oh, that's fun. Speaking of, I don't think I've ever used a flare. Let's just see what it looks like to use a flare. So we can just hold it. Or we can throw it. Cool. That's a flare. Wait, hold on. What kind of zone destabilization has happened to make this car get its door back? Is this just an entirely different car? All this stuff wasn't here before. I took it. That's really weird. I'm very curious what else is around here. This looks like the site of a future upgrade. What are you? Hey, it looks like there's a crack in the wall, or they never finished constructing it. it. Doesn't go all the way down to the base by any means. I'm on the opposite side of the building. Let me see if I can bash my way back in. Oh man, this is probably going to break the glass. Wow, it didn't. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything more to find around here, so I don't think I'm going to be able to find the plastic to make the door. But there are a bunch more things we can research now that we've installed the antenna. Let's research a large fuel can. Right, so I've researched it, but I still need to make it. Only other thing we can make now is a light bulb. Yeah, it seems like you're limited by, among other things, you're limited by energy. How do you gain more energy? Do you have to just wait and it comes back, or do I need to produce it somehow? Oh yeah, it's this... It's this here, this stable energy. That's how much we have, 0.3. No unstable and no corrupt, so I guess we're going to need different types of energy at some point. Yeah, how do we generate energy? God only knows, but let's research that light bulb. Why not? I don't know what you do with bulbs. I assume it's a prerequisite for making a light. Well, no, actually, I built a new headlight without that researched. So what is it for then? Okay, let's check out the large fuel can. I need, oh, I need plastic for that too. Of course. Hmm. Yeah, I can actually make a bulb, but it's a type of material just like a gear is. So yeah, it's not something you use on its own, but it's something that other things consume. Ironically enough, a headlight does not consume a bulb. That's very odd. It does use road flares, which seem to suggest to me that my headlight is producing light from road flares. And yet, it also consumes energy, electricity. What have we done to those poor road flares? My god, we have the technology, apparently. That is extraordinary. It bothers me that I'm not going to be able to complete the recommended driver's checklist because I can't install 
a door in the back. <laughs> oh, hey. Wait a minute. This fuel can. Can I pre-fill it with this? How would this work? Would I do it like this? Not sure how that exactly works going through the glass or whatever, but yeah, you can do that. Cool. Always good to have a little extra. Let's plan our route. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. It seems like there's a bunch of areas that I could explore if I wanted to. Optional ones, I guess? As much as I'm tempted to do that, I do still feel like I'm in the prologue phase, so I feel like I should stick to the quest. I think I can only go to one. Yeah, it says zero scanner charges left. So I think right now I can only go to one place. Yeah, no scanner charges left. No multi-stop trips at the moment. What I don't understand is this brown line. You see, if I mouse over this, there's a brown line that points up to this one. And this one points over to that one. This one doesn't have any brown line. This one does. This one doesn't. What exactly is that saying? Is that saying if I'm here, I can go from here to here? Somehow? Not really sure. Anyway. We're all ready. Just a quick double check. I have nothing in my backpack. So everything's in here. Yeah, I'm bringing the hand back even though I don't need to. I've got to repair stuff. Battery jumper, which it recommended. Impact hammer, which I just wanted. Scrapper, with pretty good durability. I guess we're good. I guess we're good. Oh, what's this? Zero of one ability is equipped. Ah, oh, right, we have the handbrake now. Skid on demand. I suppose a handbrake I'd probably want on space. That feels right for drifting, drifting with space. Let's test it out. Yep, that is working. Now let's try turning. Okay, I think I need a little bit more speed. And... Drift, kinda? Wait, so I chose to go here. That was my route plan. The scanner charges, is that just how many locations you can get intel on? Is that all it's doing, just giving you intel? Because then this lets you choose where you want to actually go, so the route planner was not setting my route into stone. So I could stop back here if I wanted to. If you look at the bottom right, there's like stable anchor, abductor, spark tower, all those things. And then there's a bunch that are not recognized. So I think those are things that I missed. And there certainly was a lot to that map that I didn't even visit at all. Oh man, that makes me really want to go back. But not right now. Stick to the main quest for just a little bit longer, I think. Oh, the number two means it's two hops away. So I gotta go to a number one and then I can head to it. So I think I actually do have to go here. Or I suppose I could probably go here and then here. 
Maybe? Okay, well then, in that case, how about we go here? If I have to travel to another place before where I really want to go, then I might as well go to a new place. Oh, I'm nervous. Back roads, remote, damp forest, outer zone. What is that light? Oh, it's coming from this horrid looking thing. Jesus. Access checkpoint. Once upon a time, zone travel was heavily monitored. As instances of instability and unpredictable weather increased, regular checkpoints were installed, not only for security, but also to track mo uh, movement to... What? Ooh, you know what my favorite remnant was? The record player. You remember Francis? Yeah, you play records normally, but then every now and then you hear weird voices. Like that one time it was my fifth grade lunch lady. <sighs> this again. You know, the sooner I get this out of my system, the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. <sighs> Fine. Hey, had a girl? Oh, boy. Hey, driver, listen. Of all the legends, of all the stories that have spawned in the zone, <laughs> trust me, there are so many. Remnants? One of the best. I'll start from the beginning. <clears throat> In 1964, strange objects began appearing throughout the zone. They were, uh, shabby, cast-off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. A rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Always so out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? Don't say that while I'm looking at a mysterious car in the forest. Although I guess it's not that mysterious. It's just a broken down car. Well, I could break all these pieces. Oh. Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently. A, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun, but... Better to know what you're up against. Could the Remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. Anyway, it's been 20 years since the last Remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. Oh, Jesus, what are those? Is that a bunch of those dolls? I wonder if you're already feeling the remnants effects, driver. Have you been? Oh, Jesus. If only we knew where remnants came from. Then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird. Like v visible manifestations. Remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. Yeah, those are tourists. Oh, can I tear you apart? 
Now I'll need the pneumatic hammer. Wondering why some of the tourists exploded earlier. That's a bit worrisome. To put it lightly. I really need to take flares. They don't seem that rare. So many materials. Looks like there's another building there. I don't need to put the parking brake on. It'll stop eventually. Probably. Wait, is there not a way up? Oh, here it is. Every time I enter a building, I'm worried there's going to be a tourist, like, right around the corner, just up in my face. Transmuter. Turns gear into road flare. Pressurized cartridges. Nice. Those are used to make bulbs, at least. It is dark enough that I feel like maybe I want a flare in my hand. But they don't last very long. Still. No harm to it. I don't suppose it'll stay in my hand if I get in the car? Nah, it drops it. Okay, there should be three up here. Three more buildings. Probably don't want to do that too often. I imagine that's not good for the front of the vehicle. Let's stick to just wee shrubs. What is that noise I just heard? What the hell? It sounded like something was falling down. Hold on, these buildings that I see up here are not on the map. That makes them even more intriguing. Not actually sure this one really is a building per se. I don't think there's an entrance to that. I think it's just like a structural piece for something. 
for this pipe system. This might be as well. Yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah, it seems like it gives you warnings if your car is like on a steep hill or in muddy, slippery conditions. Things like that. Again, so many materials in the fridge. Do I need canned food? Not really, but it does stack quite nicely. Nope, don't need to scan for warp locations. I guess I should grab the scrapper for that, huh? Scrapping time. Oh, look at that. Glass and plastic and electronics. I seriously hear the most disturbing sounds all the time. The fuck is that? Crimson paint. Feeling dramatic, express yourself with the burnt red of a glowing ruby, of an angry lipstick, of a dying sun. Can I actually paint things? Can I paint my car? phone. Oh, that had really good stuff. Oh, there's no inside. It's been boarded up. How's our fuel doing? Eh, not bad. And the battery's fine. So leaving the car running with the headlights on doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. I think that stuff's gonna hurt me if I get close to it. Hot dust. Private field notes. At present, the majority of radiation detected in the zone can be categorized as beta particles or gamma rays, behaving almost exactly as we would expect. 
Nevertheless, further study will still be required to explain the origin and highly variable intensity of this radiation, which is unlike anything previously documented. One particular kind of radiation frequently manifests as a highly localized phenomenon with no apparent source or focus, and often displays changes in modes of behavior more consistent with cloud patterns. These radiation microclimates are increasingly common and vary in intensity from relatively weak to extremely concentrated. We've tried to discourage the use of the phrase, but local contractors have already taken to using the phrase hot dust to describe this unusual anomaly. While further study is obviously warranted, the extremely unpredictable activity and spontaneous appearance of this radiation has made examination extremely difficult. It is not currently a priority. I wonder if I'm going to find a, like a hazmat suit or something that will protect me from that. I'm assuming... Okay, we got to try, right? Like, let me just walk into it. I'm not going to instantly die. Okay, and the radiation was going up. On the top left of the screen, it went up very sharply. And went completely down as soon as I left. Not going to mess with that. Hold on, I think we have a flat tire. Mm-hmm. Let's make a ceiling kit. Did I miss it? I did. There it is. Good as new. I just wonder, is it worth destroying just a bunch of crude panels? Because I imagine the loot you get from that's not nearly as good as if you destroy like a steel panel or something. Oh, but nonetheless, I mean, I can just make another scrapper. Right? Like, how expensive is it to make another scrapper? It takes scrap metal and plastic. It's not too bad. I do need plastic for other things, though, and you don't really get much, if any, from these panels. So, maybe I won't. Yeah, maybe I'll just ignore the cars that look like complete rust buckets. Oh my god. That weather took a turn. Oh, whoa. Looks like there's a tornado coming or something. Let's check out this building. That might be new. I'm not sure. What the hell is that? Hot dust or... No, that's something new. Glittering boulder. Hey, this is Anna. I'm totally going so fast right now. Oh no, oh no! It's happened again! Just out collecting some data from the weather stations and oh no! There are new things out there and oh help! If you touch them you... Oh. Hold on, Charlie. <laughs> okay, so they're being swung around by the thing while they're writing this. I love that. 
So don't touch it. I kind of want to touch it, but I'm not going to. But I am curious about this truck. Oh, you have a steel door. Did that actually give me any better loot than I get from other things? There's just scrap metal and glass. Ooh, how about these tires, though? Tons of rubber. You know, my car might be a little bit quieter. Uh, the storm might be a little bit quieter in my car if I had a back to my car. Some sort of like a farmhouse thing over here? And summer tires are not meant for off-roading. Uh, not sure about that waypoint. What the hell? I should be inside the barn. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, it looks like a grain silo or something. Man, I love the vibe of this storm. It's so cool. Okay, then we got a long straightaway. Oh, I think the storm's over. Now we should reach a proper road. Ugh, tourist. Hold on, what's going on here? Weird. Also getting a weird static in my eyes that I don't like. Makes me want to not be here. I think we can- oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. You stay there. Yeah, we got a spark tower. We'll need plenty more plasma for other things.
Ooh. Oh, I'm trying to turn to the right, but it doesn't want to. Uh oh. I'm going forwards and to the right, and we're going nowhere. Okay, okay, okay. We're going down here. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. You know, I don't know how to read my battery gauge. We're either fine on battery or we're almost dead. What the fuck are those? I'm gonna turn off my headlights just in case our battery is almost dead. Oh no, dust. Um, okay, I'm gonna power through. I need to get to the other side of this. All right, all right, all right. I think we're okay. I think one of those things zapped my uh, car and turned on the radio. Mm, yeah, we have a battery problem. This is an interesting vehicle. Abandoned Squire. Hi, I'm Gil O'Hanlon, and I'm here to tell you why the O'Hanlon Squire is the perfect sedan for all your contract needs. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm not buying one. Oh, armored panel. You might have interesting materials. What do you got for me? Steel sheet? Thermosap crystal? Yeah. Armored door, too. Half fuel. Let's get back on the road, shall we? Then again, that's looking pretty steep. Let's try to find a more gentle way up there because I don't think we're going to make it up that steep hill. Maybe if I get a head start, we'll be okay. Let's try. Wow, what a head start so fast. No, we're not going to make it. I'm gonna turn my flash my headlights back on because damn it's dark. It's alright, it's alright, we're fine. I don't know what that noise is though, that doesn't sound fine. Oh, it's the radio. Think we're almost to the road? Yeah, we're almost there.
Yes, we're on the road. Oh, why's our freaking dresser there? Okay, I think that red number there, that 2.7, I think that's our battery. Because when I turned on the headlights, it started to go down. Yeah, now it shows a down arrow. Now it shows no arrow. So it's either steady or going up, maybe? Is it building down this way? That, if you follow it all the way down, it leads to a dead end, which is interesting. But it's so far out of the way, it makes me think there might be something interesting there. Same with that, I want to go check it out. Pneumatic deposit box. Also nicknamed pneuma tubes, the pneumatic tubes that crisscross the zone are low tech, but they may well be why they've survived to this day. It seems the less complicated the technology, the less the zone is likely to scramble it and screw it up. Dumpster pearl? Slice a pearl in half and you'll find thousands of layers of precious materials formed around a core. Break one of these apart, and who knows what'll pop out. Wait, it says health 5,000. Do I have to break it open? Like, use my scrapper on it or something? Intriguing. Wait a second, the sodium vapor lights, didn't they say something like you need a vacuum or something? There was something that said you needed a vacuum. Yeah, wait, I just saw it again. Sodium vapor light, recommend a tool hand vac. I don't know why that only appears when I look at it a certain way, but let's try it. Oh, did I not bring it? Oh no, I did. Just wasn't looking in the right spot. Man, we have so many materials. So what is this gonna do? Whoa! Picked up bulbs and glass shards. I sucked the bulbs and glass right out of them. That's... weird. Just how powerful is this hand vac? How's our battery? Yeah, 2.6. Steady. We're low on fuel. Zappy Tower. Give me a little tingle.
Does the dome light even take energy? Hmm. Can't tell. Doesn't seem to be changing. Oh, there's the radio. We've heard this one before. Let's get a different one. Or let's actually do a different channel. Don't like that. What the hell is that? That whole zone is irradiated? I wonder if that's going to keep growing. Maybe, maybe we should just go. <laughs> that's creeping me out. This is also creeping me out. That's new. Sizzling mist. You were right. The presence of concentrated plasma particles is what makes the cloud so conductive. This isn't a storm like an electrical storm, like we'd expect to find in the skies above and we'd do well to stamp out such colloquial descriptions. No, this is something else, something both more intense and yet also so much more localized. I think, with a little time, it'll be quite possible for us to replicate some of this behavior in a lab setting, budget permitting. God, isn't this exciting? Our research is finally paying off. We'll get tenure for this, for sure. We got a cluster of buildings here. How is that storm looking? Oh, it's gone. All right. Whew. I was worried it was just going to keep growing and chasing me or something. I don't think it's going to drain the power to have the radio on. Right? Danger? Whoa, 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 just a danger. What is it? Oh, whoa. Just when I open this, it says danger? 
Oh, I guess it's... I guess it's alerting you to the fact that you shouldn't feel safe in a menu because the game doesn't pause and there's something kind of nearby. That's why the screen is all staticky. Scrapper's almost done for. Whoa, I just got radiation. For a second. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize. If you look at the top left, I'm getting a low level of radiation. Oh, it's actually slowly hurting me. That was the problem. This area is irradiated. I should probably use a med kit or eat some food. Uh, that'll get me to 100%? Almost. Any more flares? Mm, yes. more food. Light of hand. Distract an anomaly with a light source. I just got that achievement. Did I... Who did I distract? Was it you? Oh, wow. Yeah, they're just... Wait, did it move? Oh, fuck me. I think it moved. Uh, or maybe there's just multiple. I don't know. I don't like it. I want to get out of here very quickly. Oh yeah, that definitely was not there before, and there was one right there. They move when you're not looking. I think we're good. I want to leave this place. No, yeah, they moved. They moved. Oh! So that's what happens when you touch them. So you can blow them up by throwing things at them. They drop something. What is this? Plastic.
All right. Yeah. Oh, wow. I got really close to them. I want to leave. It'll be fine. to be within that range before I activate it. I don't know, but I feel like I should get closer. to go to is... Oh, I guess if you're in that ring, maybe that means you can't go to it. It's too close. Did a nice power slide into that one. Okay. But my, my, what's this? Are you learning a thing or two? My dear newbie, there's hope for you yet. I'm not sure if that's what I was supposed to do. Did I just unlock a closer pathway so there's more ways I can take to get where I want to go? Or, like, did I need to do that? Or could I have just gone straight to my quest objective? I'm not quite sure. But I made some sort of progress. Well, I'm going to end the episode there. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to find a way to Sierra.